Hello and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Show. I'm Kate Harmony and this is Ray Harmony. We've got an extra special episode for you today because we're introducing a new face. Well, if the face looks kind of familiar, that's because the new face is related to the old face. Old face? <laughs> You're well, calling me old. <laughs> if I'm calling you old, then I'm calling your brother even older. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get back to the music, shall we? So yeah, my brother Tony Holroyd is a professional drummer based in Japan and literally the best drummer I know. I've had the great pleasure and honor of playing in bands with him for over a quarter of a century. Damn, maybe we are old. <laughs> no comment. Tony has played and recorded in pretty much every genre, from pop to EDM, jazz to metal, and everything in between. He's also recently set up his own studio, so he's been recording live drums on our music, including our new single, I Love You, which is actually out tomorrow. Or today, depending on where you live. So, as Tony played on our new single, we managed to convince him to make his YouTube debut Yay. and teach one of the most powerful rhythmic hacks, spicing up generic drum beats, which he uses in the chorus of this single. If you dig this video from Tony, give him a big thumbs up and comment below as we're trying to convince him to do more drum hacks for our channel. Right. Without further ado, we're proud to introduce you the drum monk, Tony Holroyd. AKA T-Bone. Well, that's my nickname for him anyway. Okay, enjoy the lesson. But first... T. T. <laughs> Put the kettle on. <laughs> Hi, Tony Holroyd here, coming to you from the land of sushi and ninjas. Ha! Today we are going to reverse engineer how I wrote my drum part for the chorus section of the song I Is Love For You. But before we begin, I just want to thank Ray and Kate for having me on their channel, even though I support the other team. <laughs> One way to write a drum part is to start with a generic beat. My direction for the song was make the listener dance. So I started with this classic four on the floor pattern. Okay, let's add some spice. Number one, add primary notes without disturbing the skeletal rhythm. What are primary notes? These are the notes that are going to form the main structure, the skeletal rhythm of your beat. They will usually be your accented kick and snare hits, but could be created with any strong percussion sounds. Often the drums will copy other rhythms present in the music, but here the bass is playing an eighth note based rhythm. And the kick is already playing quarter notes, so adding extra hits from the bass line sounded a bit bland to me. I decided to add some new rhythmic information to the beat without disturbing the skeletal rhythm. You can do this by adding a hit one subdivision in front of a skeletal rhythm note. This usually integrates nicely without disturbing the original flow of the groove. If your skeletal rhythm is a little busier, be careful that the note you add does not interact negatively with notes that precede it. Number two, add texture. I think of texture in the groove as sounds that are short and less prominent, sounds that fill in between the primary notes. Common examples are hi-hats, shakers, and ghost notes, which are soft hits on the snare drum. In this song, the guitar is playing a very active 16th note based rhythm. And I wanted to experiment and see if adding some 16th note texture could enhance the groove.
In this example, I'm filling up all the space with 16th notes, but it can also be very cool to leave some spaces as well. This is something we will look at in a future video. Number three, tweak the swing ratio. Adding an eighth note swing is to play the eighth note that falls off the beat slightly late in a consistent manner. Whereas 16th note swing affects the second and fourth 16th note partials. There's a lot of super groovy music that exists in the gray area between a pure eighth note and the last note of a triplet partial. And as I was writing this part, I naturally gravitated towards a light 16th note swing. A quick disclaimer, changing the swing ratio of only one instrument in some instances could destroy a song's groove, so use your own discretion when trying this. In this tune though, I feel it really added some magic, taking the groove to another level. Number four, change the voicing. One option would be to completely revoice a part of the drum kit. For example, we could switch the hi-hat part to a ride cymbal to add brightness or to a rim for a thinner sound. We could move the snare drum rhythm to a tom-tom for a darker feel or to a tambourine for a lighter vibe. Doing this can seriously alter the mood and feel of the beat and is a very useful way to build up or drop down the vibe from a previous section of the song. Another approach could be to partially revoice part of the drum kit. In this song, I ended up moving a pair of hi-hat notes to my cymbal stack, which creates an additional rhythmic element from within the existing pattern. This is really powerful, so experiment with the voicings of your beat within the context of the song and see how it affects the vibe. Number five, add accents. Accents are just cool and they will add a level of sophistication to your drum part. They will create another rhythmic element or layer to your groove in a similar way to the partial revoice from the previous step. Finding the hippest notes to accent will take some experimentation, but a basic guide would be, if you have a very syncopated skeletal rhythm, start with an accent pattern that is on the beat orientated. Or, if you have a skeletal rhythm that mainly falls on the beat, try experimenting with syncopated accents, as I did with the song. Here then is the completed chorus beat for Eyes Love For You. What an amazing lesson. Thank you, T-Bone. See what I did there? Yeah, that's what you get for your coffee joke. Oh, brothers. <laughs> By the way, if you enjoyed this lesson, you can download a step-by-step -step PDF guide for this hack. Also, if you like the sound of our new single, Eyes Love For You, you can stream or download it for free right now. All the links are below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on the Hack Music Theory Show.